Hello, this is Joe, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be capturing the Pac Man Nebula. The Pac-Man Nebula NGC 281 lies in the Perseus spiral arm of our Milky Way galaxy. It's in the constellation Cassiopeia and it's about 9200 light years away from home. The cool part about the Pac-Man Nebula is that it actually does look like the video game character Pac-Man from the popular video game. I captured this last year with my uh, Zenith Star 81 and the 1600 mm pro camera and at that focal length you can really see that it looks like pac-man um, with what i'm going to do tonight i'm going to use the edge hd8 and the field of view on it's going to be much tighter uh, very close in and i'm not sure i'm going to be able to get that pac-man look because what i'm really going for is in the center where the mouth of pac-man would be is a very dark area, very dark nebula um, around in the center of this uh, emissions nebula. And that's what I'd really like to try and capture. I, I want to get some of the details in it. And um, there's also some Bach globules, which are these um, other dark nebula concentrated areas of dust um, within or close to the center of the emissions nebula. So I'm I'd like to capture those tonight um, with my setup that I'm going to be using. I am going to be using the Edge HD 8. I'm going to be using the 294mm Pro camera again um, with the Astrodon and Chroma filters. I've got the reducer on, so I'll be at a focal length of 1,422 millimeters. The cool thing is, is that I've got, well, according to the apps anyway, I have three nights of clear skies with no moon and so no clouds and no moon and I've been battling smoke all summer long from the west coast fires and I haven't seen any for a while so I'm hoping really hoping that we don't get any for the next three nights and, and then that would make uh, some for some really pristine dark skies to take this image I also wanted to mention that my friend James from the DSO imager uh, YouTube channel he has just recently put out a video as well uh, on the Pac-Man Nebula where he did, um, he went through it, the post-processing of the Nebula. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna give him a shout out. I can only hope that my image comes out as nice as his did. Um, he had lots of hours. I'm hoping to get about 45 sub-exposures um, of each hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen at yeah, about 10 minutes each. So I'm going for close to the same amount um, of hours as he had. I think he had 30 hours and I'm probably gonna have around 22, 23 hours. So let's move over to Nina and we'll frame this up and get ready for imaging tonight. So here we are in the framing assistant in Nina and th this is the field of view that I have to work with and here's the Pac-Man Nebula. And so if we zoom in a little bit, um, I don't, I think that maybe my field of view, even with the reducer, might be a little bit too much for this nebula. Um, but what I want to do, I think, is try and rotate the camera, if possible, um, to maybe grab it like this. And this will allow me to get the majority of, of all the, um, the bright nebula, but also get that dark nebula uh, in the center of the emissions Part of the nebula as well which is really what I'm wanting to get I want to see how much detail I could pull out of this area right here um, so unfortunately though I might not be able to display the image uh, without a lot of cropping um, the way that I'd like to it, it's probably going to be a, um, probably going to do a landscape and the Pac-Man nebula won't be um, facing the direction that it normally is in images. So we're going to um, add this target as a se simple sequencer target. And I think what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll turn dithering on. 
we're going to be in bin 2 mode for this and we'll start with um, the hydrogen mostly just because I like to see that, that the hydrogen usually has the most data and I really I'd like to see how it frames up um, with that we're going to do 600 seconds which is 10 minutes we're going to try and get 15 of each one in so we'll add the other two and then we'll do sulfur next and oxygen last I've already uh, slewed to the target and did a plate solve and right now I'm finishing up um, the autofocus sequence I did um, guide a little bit before I started the autofocus just to see uh, how my guiding was doing and I'm on the, about a uh, total RMS error of 0.45 uh, before I started the autofocus routine and so this autofocus routine is almost completed um, if you see up in the, the upper corner the curve looks really nice tonight um, so we just need to finish up the autofocus and then what I'm going to do a lot of people have been asking me to show them uh, the, some of the guiding after I had rebuilt my scope and, and I've shown that in a couple videos but what I thought I'd do is just do a quick time lapse Just wanted to jump in picks and sight real quick. Uh, I finished stacking um, and calibrating all of my files, and I did have to throw away about 15 sub exposures. I I actually um, removed a couple more um, that were just slightly okay as well, um, so that I can get equal amounts. And I got I ended up with 40 um, 10 minute sub exposures of each um, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur, which Still isn't bad. I, you know, it's a little. I'm um, sad when you have to throw away two and a half hours worth of, of sub exposures, but in the end, um, I got 120 total sub exposures, 40 each, um, for 20 hours worth of data. So it, in the end, it's not that bad. And um, we're gonna look at them now. Uh, it's the first time I'm looking at them as well. And here's the sulfur. Um, you know, it's it's still a little grainy, but not bad, um, even at, at that much um, total integration time. It's still got just a little bit of grain. Um, I'm loving the details in here, though, and I'm loving the details around the dark area that, that I'm really trying to capture. Um, at this point, I'm not sure it looks like a Pac-Man anymore, um, but maybe if I were to um, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise it still might look like it um, here's the oxygen um, that's really nice actually and uh, yeah I really like that you can see uh, um, the oxygen seems to bring out a lot more as well of the, the dark part of the nebula and um, it's a lot it's a little less grainy as well and I'm really hoping here I'm gonna grab the hydrogen. I'm really hoping that uh, it comes out clean. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm impressed with this. This is nice. So the last three nights has just been fantastic. You couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, I'm super impressed with the the tracking that I'm getting on my mount and the numbers in PhD2 for guiding. Uh, all the subs look great, the hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur subs, every one of them just looks fantastic. Um, there's been no moon, no clouds, no smoke. It's kind of like the dream shoot. Uh, I'm really hoping that I could do the, all this data justice in post-processing, and I'll be showing that to you real soon here, I hope. If you like this kind of content, please smash that like button, and we'll see you in the next video.